what's up guys welcome to another video and today we're going to be working on my rear sway bar on my mark 6 gti so i already jacked up the car got it prepped up for the whole whole job so this is the upgraded sway um sway bar i already did the front so this is a stock one and i went ahead and PB blast the links on both sides so we get this so we get it ready so it's pretty straightforward man once you disconnect the links and pretty much get this part this bracket off this whole thing falls apart take it out put a new one in it's good to go she's ready all right let's get it for the tools I need to get it off you're gonna need a uh, M10 triple square. I got both short, well, short and long, just in case for anything. Also, you're gonna need an M6 triple squared as well. You're gonna need either a 16 or a 5 8 uh, wrench, 3 8 ratchet, quarter ratchet, half an inch. This is a new bushing, and like I said, you need a PB blaster. So to get the links off, use your ratchet, and you're gonna try to break it first. Once after you break it, then put the M6, triple square in, you have your ratchet, just to keep that in place in the middle while you keep wrenching it. But you have to break the, the bolt first before you start that. So I'm gonna knock that out. Once you get it off, the uh, extension right here for the bolt you have to tap it out to get clearance so you can move this bar freely and the best way to do it without damaging anything is have the ratchet as where it is make sure the um, the triple square is in there properly before you do it and gently tap it don't you don't have to hit it all the way through just tap it it will push through just get like a little mallet, something that's light, and just tap it all the way through. Once you do, when you, once you do that, you should be good. You should have all the clearance you need. Now it's finally off. So next step is remove these brackets. So for this one, I use the shorter one. It shows a little bit more clearance because this is in the way but make sure it's straight as possible. You do not want to have this bent, because if you do, you cross thread it, mess it up, and you get a, you need to get a new one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get all these off. So we finally got it out. So it's pretty much, it's a little bit thicker. The uh, the e box e is a little bit thicker than the, uh, the stock one. I can't remember the measurement to be honest with you dude I had this for so long just laying there chilling but what I do need from the um the, the stock one is these brackets I'm gonna try to get these brackets off they look like they're on there too but if I could try to get these brackets off and then put the new and then install a new bushing with those old with those old brackets put this one in it should be a breeze all right, let's get it done. Also, one thing, the you notice there's two holes on 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 the Ebok version, is because it's adjustable. So I believe here is a tighter setting or a stiffer setting, I should say, and in here is pretty much mimicking the same thing as a stock one. So that's one of the cool parts about this new upgrade. So. If you're trying to get this bracket off, it's gonna be a pain because it's really on there. Like, like I try to use my hands and everything, it's not gonna work. Best way you could do it, have a screwdriver, get in between, and pretty much hammer it through until it kind of like slants like this, and then just keep prying it out, prying it out, and it eventually pops right out. So I'll even show you how to do it. Yep, 
so finally bo finally got both of them off now we're gonna put these bushings on the new bar, uh, sway bar put these suckers on and then we'll put everything back together hey guys before you put the rear sway bar bushing in it's very important to put more than enough grease inside reason being because this bar is going to be moving if it's not lubed up enough then you're going to start hearing like squeaking sounds or a little rubbing sounds and it's not good you want to make sure that you eliminate all that all possibility of that so that's pretty much it guys everything is snug everything is tight everything is perfect i cannot wait to try this sucker out on a track or even the mountains or turns or whatever but on that note guys thank you so much for your support i am I love the fact that you guys are leaving comments on my videos. I love the fact that you guys are supporting me. Um, I notice, uh, notice you guys are subscribing to my channel. I notice the growth. Thank you so much. Motivates me each and every day to find ways to create new content for you guys. And, and that, with that, have a great day. Take care. Love your family. Love yourself. Peace.